that happened last week even though we were talking about it this is previously recorded it technically it happened yesterday but you guys are watching it a week after yeah so basically our topic today is on how you should really tell your loved ones that you love them and yeah <laughs> I was gonna step it but I didn't know what to say I'm so lazy that I'm not gonna take off my no, but yeah guys if you're around your mom your dad your siblings just don't forget to tell them you love them especially if you're in a argument like sometimes you know you get into arguments with your siblings or your mom or your dad like quick stuff and then you like don't really apologize and you keep, right. you, you keep on with your day and it's just like yo you never know if something can happen and now you're there like oh man i should have never said this i should have never said that yeah um and the reason why we're talking about this is because we're talking about um passing of Nipsey. Yeah, his death and how sad it is because he like influenced the entire world, honestly. Like it's just really sad. Even to those people that didn't even listen to his music, everybody just knew of him and right, what yeah. he comes about and what he right. does. He was very like, well respected. Like, yeah, very, very respected. Yeah, very well respected. And this has literally impacted the whole entire world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like if like if this hasn't affected you then i at this point i just feel like you have no heart whether yeah. you knew him or not yeah it's like, just crazy cliff died last week now him he's getting shot now nah, like, like what like, like nothing what's and then, going on nipsey like, the person went up to him and shot him like what is wrong with them in the hand bro yo. what is wrong with like you? at this point i just feel like we're animals we're and just you know, killing each other you get me like it's just, you know what's sadder that it's, it's always in your own in your own state own city okay it can't. Look at, at A rap music. He's got from shot here. here. Got shot here. Like, mm-hmm. damn. Why always gotta be in your freaking As state? I was watching something, it says, like, the most rappers, like, it's hard because you mostly get killed where you're from. Like, didn't Chinks, isn't Chinks from New York? And yeah, then you fucking got, got killed him. And he got all shot up in his car in New York. Like, Crazy. So how you where, you're block, from, where you're from like, is where you're most hated. Mm-hmm. Not envious people. Even though with him, I don't think it was. I think it was uh, some other shit. Obviously, like there's all these, you know, um, conspiracy stories about. Yeah. Um. Honestly, I feel like the government's very planned. Like, I feel like the minute, even though he didn't announce it, he, even though he didn't announce it, like, I feel like they would have known because. He was getting records of Dr. Savy and all these things. So, like, they were catching on to him and seeing what he was doing and all these things. And it's just, like, they had it mapped out from a long time ago on how exactly I feel like they were going to kill him. That's, yeah. I honestly, we, I feel like majority of people believe it's just because of that. I, that's what I believe. A lot of people are trying to, to say, like, gang shit, but it's like... Of course, they're going to put him down. And the people are talking about in the he hood. Killed, like, military styles. Like, I'm sorry. I'm believing that it had to do with the documentary and all that. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I don't... I don't know. Cause it just sounds legit. I'm sorry. Like, how did it... How do... How is this person not caught yet? Bro, and there was cameras everywhere. Him. And why is it the the video that we're seeing is mad blurry? It's and there's people there. He's not about to have some blurry ass cameras in his shop. That's first. He's not gonna do that. Of course. Your not. dad even has some banging ass clear ass cameras. You're gonna think, think you're gonna think that him at his shop, his business in in his hood, he's gonna have some blurry two thousand and freaking one cameras. No. And but that video won't be released though. Only the far one, so people cannot stop complaining yeah. about the camera. That video won't be released. Watch any money, and they won't even release the little bit they have of that freaking documentary. And now Nick Cannon saying he's gonna take over. Now I'm fearful for Nick Cannon. Yeah. How, what's gonna happen to him? Yo, that documentary, that documentary needs to come out because the truth needs to be revealed. Like, for real, for real. Like everybody needs to know and have the proof of Dr. Sebi saying that he cured this, this, and this, and the judge saying like. 
yeah like having proof of like other doctors after going to one doctor and saying they they have AIDS and then going to another doctor and saying that they don't have AIDS. Right. right. Like we need to see that. I just feel so, like so that, yo, we're just, they're just trying to kill us. You don't bro, think that like, the um that the trial was um recorded or something we wouldn't find it on YouTube. Cause I, I know that I all I've seen because I've seen a little bit I, I don't know much. All I've seen is that he was on trial in 1995 to prove his innocence of something and then he went the, and he won the case and then he went to court the next day again to prove his, his innocence of something else and won the case as well like i feel like something like that should have been recorded but obviously and it probably was they, or it probably is like super super top secret and especially if especially if he won the case they really don't want to show it it's but just, i wonder like i want it's just like yo they just don't let us be great they don't let like us color people be great bro like mm -hmm. this this man this doctor came out of nowhere and said he had the cure and he was like trying to help everybody healthiest man on earth died of pneumonia like i don't and then this I is not the first like, this is not exactly, the first natural, it's not the first person natural like, doctor that says they know the cure of mad things that yeah. that passed away it's not he's not the first one they're all from other countries. None of them are from the United States. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. one of them are from the United States. I feel like today, I feel like anybody today can still find a doctor that can cure those things for them outside of here. I know yeah. nothing about them because if the U.S. gets their hands on this person or finds out who this person is, if they're they will go to their country killed. to kill them. Yeah. To yeah. their country. Like, like it's crazy that in Dominican Republic there's not as much like obviously these people have cancer and stuff and eight diseases in general, but. It's crazy how my grandma from DR, my great grandmother, she was 103 when she died. Over here at freaking at 50, you have Alzheimer's already. Mm -hmm. Like, it makes no sense. It makes no sense that the people in our country last forever because they eat more natural stuff, more good. Like everything is without so much preservatives and stuff. And then over here, it's just like, oh, you're 40 and you have freaking Alzheimer's and you're dying. Like it's, it's, it's so insane. crazy. It's like. Insane. I hate the doctors. I don't believe them. Nothing they say. No, like, no one, like, everything just clicks together now. Like, him dying, the documentary about to come out. Like, of course, of course, of course they have to get their hand on that. Poor Lauren, his family, his kids. Like, didn't think about that. And are you going to kick me in the head? And then next to other that people, fucking person this person would never And I think another home. person got shot too, because it seemed like someone else got shot when they dropped the second Yo, And I swear to God that if they was to catch somebody, this person is going to be, I don't even know, a whole lie. They're just going to pin it on a random person just so they can make this shit believable. Okay, he's going to be a mystery jail person. Like I feel like they're going to sentence him and have him get a new name and be free kid. yeah like, just like that it's like, a person from another country that will never come to the states you know there's people that don't even like the states there's people and it, it just it's legit just, and live in a whole different country yeah. like just let them go free you and know in, clear in dr they can burn your fingerprints yeah and you can come back to the united states as a whole new person they don't know nothing that you are a whole criminal they got burnt they gonna make you get new fingerprints like just like there's there has just I, it's just so scary to me because i just feel like there's just so much stuff that they are hiding from us that we don't know so and it's like shit. damn i'm even scared to go outside now right. i'm scared i was going to 7-eleven to get a juice earlier and i was scared like oh my god looking at my surroundings i was watching the real ones right and tamara was talking about how her niece died in that what's that the shooting the yeah the shooting, shooting. what was the that bar. Place at the bar in california that her niece died and she said that at a, there was a point like after that happened, that she was even scared to come to her job. She was scared to go to church. She was scared to, to go to her job. She was scared to go outside. And now I'm like, in my head, I didn't really understand. But now I get it. Now I'm just like looking at everything. Like, damn, I can't even drink one ounce of, li of liquor. I can't do nothing because I got to look at my surroundings at every second because you just never know. Look at that girl. She just died when she was just partying with her friends. Mm -hmm. Like. Crazy. Yo, it's like crazy. even the Las Vegas thing of like the shooting, the Sandy Hook the guy. The, Sandy Hook is the most fishiest thing to the me. Guy, I, yeah. The guy, the guy, um, going on and um, going all the way yeah, to the Sandy top. Is from super the fishy. Sandy like, Hook is no, I don't care what nobody tells me. Sandy Hook is fake. Like, like the whole, the whole random shooter. I don't, yo. I seen an interview when the Sandy Hook thing first happened, like when it was live and everything was going on. I seen an interview. And I never seen that interview again. They deleted it from the whole world. I swear to God. It was a little boy and his father that went to the school and said, 
Damn, what was it that he said? He basically said, I seen a guy on the floor. Or so, it was so, it was something that didn't match the actual story. And I never freaking forgot about that shit. That's why I'm like, hold on, man. Is, what the fuck is going on? Like, the, even the kids, the funerals. Like, there was a girl that was in Sandy Hook that was in, in, in the Boston Marathon um, bomb yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah. And after she was there, she was in the in the gay um the gay shooting. Mm -hmm. What was it called? Um, mm -hmm. I don't mean to say, the, you know, the, it was the gay club. That's what it was. Yeah. She was there too. Like they were yeah. act actors and actresses that work for the freaking government. Yeah, I swear. Like that's I don't know. I don't, this country's fucked up. I'm going to Canada. That ass and Canada's probably fucked up too. Ooh, I'm sorry. Yeah, this country's really fucked. You know how like the people in like Korea is it Korea? One of the one of the um one of them countries that they're just like they're like very it's strict over there. Mm -hmm. And they don't know what 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 country is that again? It's like one of the Koreas, I think. I don't know. Don't go me. So but they don't know. They don't know nothing. Like they don't. They don't know about nothing. And I feel like we're like that. Yeah. Just that they, we think we're free and we can live the life, but we don't know shit. Mhm. Mm it's really scary if you think about it. Like I don't even. I just feel like once one thing happens, another thing happens, so we can get distracted about the other thing that we were just focused on, mm -hmm. so we can forget about it, and it's just fucking a whole bunch of fuckery. It's annoying. It's it's um, like it's really scary to live here. It is really really scary, and the fact that like. You don't know who the fuck is controlling you. Like government, yeah, but like who the fuck? Like that man did so much for his community. They always be the good ones. Like yo, mm -hmm. so much positive, like real ass nigga, dope ass rapper, a father, like, a husband. Bro, like what the fuck? Mm -hmm. You just gonna go shoot him six times? And then it's like the fact that so many people are saying that, that it's military style, and I'm just like yo. I and I freaking believe it too. I'm telling you, that person, they're gonna either make some black kid take our L, just straight lie to him, yeah. or just take, they're gonna make, they're gonna just freaking sacrifice a, a gang member black kids or Spanish kid. Yeah. Make him take the fall for that. Yeah. They're gonna just be like, oh, if you don't do this, this, and this, we're gonna make you take fall for this, this, and this. Some cra they're gonna do some crazy shit, just pin it down on a person so everybody can shut up and let it die down and be like, wow, they caught the killer of Nipsey, blah, blah, blah. Even that kid on live, did you see? Mm -hmm. There was a kid on live with another person saying, I killed Nipsey. Going on, here he Yeah, he was going like, I, yeah, it was me. Ha, 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 ha. It was me. I killed Nipsey. I killed Nipsey. Even no. that shit's fishy to me. Even that. You didn't see that? That was everywhere. No. What? Let me see if I saved it. I feel like, too, sometimes, like, the government just be like, oh my god, my pores are super open. They're super smart. They know what the fuck they're doing. They um, they probably be manipulating our own kind to do shit too. Mm -hmm. Like, damn, did I save it? I didn't. Save it. I didn't save it. That's why I'd be so scared to bring kids to this world because. No, that's a fact. I don't even you could only protect your kids so much. hundred percent. Yo, I don't know where it is. I'll try to find it too, but. There was a kid that was on live, and then the other kid, the other kid I was talking to, was like, "Who in their right mind is gonna go on live and just say they killed him?" Oh shit, that was the same day Selena died, mm -hmm. March thirty first. That's crazy. She's also from California. Oh no, was she from Texas? No, she was from yeah. Texas. By the way, guys, I'm not doing the mask because I can't really put anything on my face because. I don't know what's gonna irritate it or not. <coughs> I'm looking for it. Shit's crazy. I need to post a so that thing. If I get killed with the documentary, I better laugh at me. Like, they look so banging together. I am so sick for her. Oh my god. That's it. I don't think he was know. so freaking respected like Everybody have respect for him everybody It's like I almost feel like I'm offended if somebody's not posting their condolences mm -hmm. Like if, if people are really going about their day without saying their condo condolences It says multiple sources are now confirming that a guy by the name of shitty cuz Was actually Nipsey Hussle's story yesterday and felt disrespected when he told to do so we are also told that this guy was recently checked in and out of a mental hospital within the last two weeks. The gunshot seemed accurate because he stood over Nipsey and shot him five times and kicked him when he was on the ground. The female in the pic is allegedly identified as a getaway driver. Yeah, 
You're all funny money. I don't still. I don't know. That picture looks mad. Shit. That picture looks mad. Two thousand and freaking one. Like, That's fishy. I don't know. I don't really believe that. See what I said? It's like a random ass thing. Yeah. Random ass, and of course the, the black people they took the the black. I mean, I don't know if it's true or not, but nigga, somebody from the straight hood that needed probably who knows what. That kid probably died. For all we know. I don't know. Until they, I need to see more proof. Yeah, me Before too, I actually right? believe it, to be honest, because oh, I don't know. This fish, this kind even. I haven't seen some posts about the doctor and other stuff, and I'm like, damn, should I post those? Are they gonna kill me? I mean, I know I'm not I nobody, but it, so. but I thought about it he twice. Spit on his face and kicked him out. Uh -huh. This is what I seen. The Lisa left eye stuff. And I'm yeah, like, I wanna, too. I wanna post it, but I'm like, damn, should I? They're gonna keep their eyes on me. Sure, they be looking at me from my back, but my MacBook and my phone. Cause I feel like they're connected to us in every fucking way. They can hear us talking yeah. shit right now. We just nobody, so they don't give a fuck. I'll say that I wanted some latex pants professional. Get le le, yo. Yo, guys, we don't even know when the camera stopped because we were just going in and talking, having a good conversation. But, yeah, yo, this world is just crazy. Yeah, it's like really fishy evil. shit. Like, I hate that I, like, I always, I, don't feel fucking I always think everything is so suspicious about yeah, this world. Yeah, too. And I hate thinking like that. Like, it's just whack because you're never in peace. But I'm always thinking about... Oh, imagine like, so okay you think like that so imagine how you would think if you had kids i know like, that's, that's what my mom was telling me like i was telling her like i was mad because q on friday q didn't tell like he was taking five to come home he wasn't answering my phone call you know i get nervous she's like imagine when you have kids that's how you're gonna feel <sighs> it drives me crazy when, you when my parents are not when my parents are not home i'm blowing up their phone crazy blowing up there like where are you guys yeah I what have you been where are you and my mom's like, imagine when you have kids, like, and I'm like, yeah, I, I, she was, that's why it'd be crazy for you to just come home already, because it's like, I can't sleep. And I'm like, but I never ignore your phone call. She goes, that I can say about both of you guys. Like, at least you guys never, I'm like, yo, I will text you if I can't answer the phone. Like, mm -hmm. if you don't, if I don't answer, then, 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 you know, get thing, because if, like, I always answer. I gotta, if I can't, because it's loud or something, then I'll text, but I'm never gonna just ignore my mom's phone call, so she could be worried, I'm never doing that. I did that whole running away thing one time and my mom and she found me. <laughs> I was in the streets and she found me. I used to pack a maleta and go to the backyard and wait till it got so dark. Kid. But <laughs> the crazy part is that I thought my parents didn't know where <laughs> I was. I thought my parents didn't know where I was. Like, And I used to be like, hmm, they probably like it. <laughs> they knew 100% I was in the backyard. Oh my crazy. god. My face is stiff. I need to wash it. With a whole maleta, kid, like ready to flex. <laughs> kid, I would go and go and then I'll go up the stairs, back up the stairs and go and stay in the back of the, the, the house like this in the backyard. They probably were looking at you from the window. Why wow, we got a strange oh, child. I was so fucking strange. Like you don't understand. Like that's so funny though. I wish they would have recorded that. Cause I was so really weird. Like I don't even want to talk about. Like I had. It was very concerning. Like I should have been seeing a therapist. Like for real. How, like how I was. Now that I'm thinking about it. Now that I work with kids. Like I should have been in therapy. I feel like Spanish people don't believe in doctors as much. Like. The, the therapists and stuff like that, no, not Bella, yeah, right, That's it. They just believe in ass whoopings and that's it. There's no, oh, you need pills for your depression. You need pills for your behavior. For real. You need pills Get for right. your appetite. Get. Right, I had this one girl, her name, her, her name was Chelsea, right? And the parent used to be like, yo, she just can't, she's Dominican. I was like, ella no se puede quedar quieta, yo no sé lo que ella tiene, ella no puede hacer la tarea. The minute I'm not with her doing homework, she's going like this. <laughs> like she was like, she was straight from the yard. And the minute I was in the car, she was ah, ah, like going on the floor, making a show for everybody. Can I be like, Chelsea, ponte, ponte, por favor. I was like, tú tienes que hacerlo tú misma. Que it would used to be so funny. And like I told her, I was like, maybe she has. I was like, no sé si ya tiene iris. Di, tú sabes lo que es, no. Oh, no sé, so, eh, yo no sé, en mi casa, como una pera yo las regla. <laughs> Just like that. Okay. Yeah, they, they don't believe in that shit. My dad, to take us to the hospital, we had to be physically, like, wide open, bleeding <laughs> crazy. Because that nigga said, no, pop some big stuff. I have this one African kid, right? Who acts up in school because nobody can hit him. His mom would be like, oh, he's just not staying still. Like, I don't know what's going on. She goes, oh, he's not staying still. He goes, he turns white, and he, she's like, you can hit him. I was like, I can't touch him. 
I give you permission to hit him. I was like, even though you give me permission, like I just can't hit him. Like <laughs> I don't know what it's actually you, African parents don't fuck up. The other day he said that one's Gucci. He said penis. Mm-hmm. And he's a kindergartner. He said penis. Oh, he's a kindergartner? He's a kindergartner. Like he's Af- like his tone is mad strict. Kid. Your African parents. He said please. penis. And the the next morning I was just like she's like, Oh, how was he? I was like, Oh, he's good. He just like said a bad word but then but then he apologized and he goes so he looks at me like, Damn, sis, why you have to do that? And the Bob goes, What were he said? What was the word? And I was like, oh, like he apologized. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, he apologized. So she's like, what was it? I was like, oh, he said like the private part. The boy, he. That boy turned this color. This color. He He was hits you. He was white. Snitches. Yo, he like got so. Oh, why you hating that though? Little ass kids, yo. Saying but because I didn't shit. think that she was gonna. What she said? You know what I'm saying? Like him, why he saying that? Like your man, little. What she like, said? So he he didn't. She make goes, it to the oh car. okay. Like he didn't make going? it to the car without the ass beating. Just that. Nah. That that, that, that I remember that was twisted. By the time they got to <laughs> listen the car. to this, guys. I was at my house and I said, "What the heck?" Once, trust me, I'm never gonna forget about this day. My dad said, "The next time you say that." The, the, mentioned the devil in this house. Mind you, I didn't say what the hell. I said what the heck. So the next time you mention the devil in this house, I'm gonna give you ass whooping. And I'm in my head like, I don't even fucking say nothing. Nigga, I remember we were going. I'm saying nigga to the people. No, sorry guys. Guys, I remember all my little friends was on the porch and I was going upstairs and I said like the door wasn't open. So I said what the heck. Right there, ass whooping in front of everybody. No way. He's crazy. In front of everybody. I was so embarrassed and I didn't even say nothing mean. I said, what the heck? Like, you say a word? What the heck? That's what he said. you say a word? What the heck? What the heck? I don't know what the hell. I what the heck. It's the same No, I don't know. When I said damn, no me said the devil in this house. Oh my god. Like, I got an ass open. I don't how know how I started get to so this much. conversation? I, I know. How we get here? Don't know, guys, but just love your loved ones. Yeah, because we're like lost right. now in the sauce. We're real yeah, we we sauce. always do this. We go from freaking jail all the way to freaking food. Yeah, but yeah, guys, like this is gonna his legacy is gonna forever like go on. Whatever. Yo, whatever they do, that people gotta support. I'm supporting. I'm okay. just waiting to hear the word. Cause he says if I die, you better ride for me. I'm fucking riding. That's yep, a hundred percent. Like whatever it takes, just tell me the word. I this never, I never been affected by a, a famous person so before. Funny. Like never. Like this hit me, and I don't even jam to his music, so I just knew, uh, I just knew who he was, oh, he was and what he represents, what kind of and what he, he does, was. and his relationship with Laura London. Like I just knew there was just some real ass niggas. Like they just real. And the fact that she had to lose, she had to lose the father of her kid. Her, I don't know if they were married, but whatever, they're basically married. Mm-hmm. Her husband, like the little girl, had to lose her father. A good, a good person. It's not like it's it's, it's like a, cause it's the evilest people stay alive. Like it's not like it's, nobody deserves to die. But yo, a good ass person that always. I was watching somebody, some lady talk about how he always came back to help. Always, always. I guess she knew him since she was like six years old. She said she said she's known him forever, and she was. Like so hurt and I felt so bad. Like the people that always come back and then you're gonna you gotta come kill him in his own spot. The disrespect. And like and I was listening to like the story of how like he was on that same block selling CDs and they basically kicked him out and he was like, Watch, I'm gonna buy this whole shit. Wow. That's fire, that's so fire. I was that's watching, gold. he opened he was opening a barbershop he went home. Cajun food spot. I don't even know. Occasion, oh, he was going, yeah, occasion food spot, um, reselling stuff, yeah. and his clothing thing, and I think there was more, bunch of stuff, I, I don't know if it was Cajun, don't call me, it was probably something else, but a food spot, I was seeing that he was doing in his hood, like, he could have just went to any other, any other city to do it, why didn't he do it for his, for his own mm-hmm. people, and then it'd be your own people all the fucking time, all oh, the fucking time, that shit is so irritating. I can't stop looking at my phone because I keep wanting to like. I was in such stuff, shock. Like, like, I was in such shock. Like, if that was like my cousin, 
Yeah. Like that. Like. And then we just seen like a video. We don't know if it's a hundred percent if it's if it's really Laura London and stuff. But we seen a a video of her supposedly when she's finding out. That is what I keep thinking about. Cause I cannot imagine myself in her shoes. Mm -hmm. It's fucking not fair. That you just woke up with this person and in three hours they're fucking dead. Like what? Yeah. That you were just having a conversation with him last night and then. Oh my god, it. she must be torn. That shit is crazy. His family, everything, but fuck. This is the person you sleep with every day and then. You just gotta not sleep alone. Your partner, because at that point, that 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 shit is just your life partner. Like you don't imagine yourself ever doing anything with somebody else. This person like, knows more stuff about you than you're gonna parents. feel like in a couple of years. Like damn, should I start all over? Like you know, like like yeah. how, how can you even start over like that? You know what I mean? Like that's crazy. Like when you find the, yo it, guys, it's hard to find your soulmate and the person. That was her soulmate. Like it, it's hard. It's hard. You gotta go through a million relationships. It's hard to find that person. Nobody is. She's never gonna feel no way about, towards nobody, and that's that just that just you just fucked up her life too. Like you just literally killed her soul inside. Like yo, she's never gonna be the same after that. She could remarry. She could do the most. She's never gonna be the same after never. that. Never. I don't even think. No one's gonna talk. I I I don't even imagine her getting married. Like I don't imagine her doing nothing. Like I feel like she's just gonna straight start it by herself for like a long time. That's like how can somebody move forward? Like no yep. one can move forward like that. I I personally wouldn't know what I'll do. No, for real, me either. Like I'm gonna have to be. I'm gonna have to just go to the hospital. And they're gonna have to just put tubes in my stomach to give me food because that's something that I wouldn't be able to take. Mhm. Mm and like, just the way that they did it, like the amount of disrespect, like they shooting him right there, like. Kicking him, spitting That person his face. was so brave, and they're lucky they had a gun because I'm sure that whoever was around would have fucking did something. But yeah. imagine you're fucking somebody's somebody's real brave to go up to somebody and just shoot the shit out of them. And they were, he was, they were just all chilling. He just came up walking regular, like yeah. He didn't even know. Obviously, he didn't even know who he was because he didn't run nothing. Like no, Sorry. he had nothing to do with this person. He didn't know who well, the they supposed to be. Said they kicked him out the store, but who fucking knows. And you think he's gonna fucking remember that? But you think that he's in his store every day? He owns it, but he, he don't work there. Mm -hmm. Your owners just stop in here and there, check everything's good, everything's quiet. He don't live in the store. Because he did not did not move one 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 bit. And when and, the person. Yeah, and then and then he shot, and then he's like trying to get up and stuff. Sh shoots him like a million times. Like he went to kill him. Like he went in in for the end. Like he, and there wasn't even like a drive by on that end. It was like he just who the fuck is this nigga that was so brave? Cause he needs to get tortured. Mm -hmm. But yeah guys, this video is going on for way too long. We apologize. Yeah. Uh we just want to tell you guys, like, remember to tell your loved ones that you love them. Don't ever forget, like, if you're in an argument, think about it. Like, if you're frustrated about something and, and, and think, look at how you're talking to that person, like... Don't go know, to sleep mad. Yes. Yeah, don't ever go to sleep mad to that person. Like, I, one thing is, like, with my father, like, I don't know. My Me and my father have a different relationship. Like, I can never... We all argue, but I can never, like, just stay mad. Like, I always have to either mm -hmm. apologize. Yeah. And with my mom, it takes a little bit of time, but, like, I... Like, I should, like, apologize right then and there. So, But, yeah, guys, don't ever stay mad at anybody that you love. or it's never Just worth text it. somebody that you love or go visit that one person that you haven't visited in a long time and you love them and you're just scared to go visit. Like, don't even do have all enemies. Of that. Do all of that. And the violent stuff. Like, if it is not what it is. Stopped. Like, the violent stuff is so unnecessary. Like, so many young people dying. And For even even the people that are saying, oh, why Nipsey got freaking mad fans out of nowhere? Yo, even so that is cares, so, bro. even that is so irrelevant to talk about. Up. That has nothing to do with nothing. I, I watch fucking Queen. No one is saying that they they was they was going in like listening to his music. It's not that's not well, the you're point. Just paying your the point respect. is that's the it. kind of person he was. Exactly. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's like, what he was most. Yo, fuck. he was known for his real thing. And the people that listen to his music. Like, I feel like his music already spoke with, like, he he represented his music, so people already knew about him, like, 
Yo, Queen tweeted like, like she was saying her condolences and she was, yo, I didn't even realize that he followed me. If you don't think Queen got bashed, bash for that. Like, oh, why are you making this moment about you? This, like, damn, I, yo, God forbid, I, I'm a celebrity. Yo, she was like, she was, I didn't even mean it like that. Like, damn, people were going in on her, in on her. People are crazy. She was like, like basically, I didn't, I didn't know he fucked with me. That's basically what she said. Like, I didn't even know he, like, I feel so bad for Lauren London. She was talking about all that stuff. Like, I wouldn't even know what to do if somebody took my, um, the love of my life away. I didn't even realize he followed me. Like, she's saying, I'm saying, like, damn, I didn't even know he recognized my work and shit. Nigga, people went in, 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 in on her. I'm like, yo, people missed the fucking point towards everything. They just focus on everything negative. Everything like, negative. I know everybody, like, like, social media is everything, but I wish, like, it would just go away for a little bit. I'm so tired of it. Mm -hmm. It's just the negativity. Like, I don't get it. I don't get why everybody must be so negative. Always have something to say. The shade room, I can't stand the shade room. Fucking annoying. As much as we find out so much information from them, they stare so much freaking drama and everything. Oh, yeah. But guys, I'm talking on and off today. We gotta finish this video for real, for real. Thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.